Hi, it's Brittany from the Emporium. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make the Devon pouch. This is a pattern by SOTAK and you can buy it on Etsy. Um, I am using the Disco Ball Ace Glitter Vinyl from Warm Me Know along with some cotton woven from Warm Me Know. There's a theme here. Um, the zipper tape is from Warm Me Know. Um, I got these zipper pulls and this clip and this wrist strap from Warm Me Know. Okay. I, I like it. It's good stuff. Um, and my friend runs the business and she's amazing and she's done so well and I'm so proud of her. Uh, I used a waterproof canvas to line the bag. I did get that from somewhere else. I got it from Fabric Wholesale Direct, um, but she sells some too. Um, I don't, she don't have plain black. Um, and I got, I got this uh, cork printed label from the Heartwood and Hyde and there's a surprise in here too. Um, let me see if I can do it without making it look funny. Uh, this woven label is from Warmy Know. It says this bag is a natural 20. Uh, I love this pattern. Um, if you've been around on my channel for a while, you probably know that I make them a lot and I like to sew them live. Um, oh, my thread is fairy floss. Let's see if I can do this. It's attached to the machine still from uh, Wizardry. And I use the Tex 80 for my uh, Juki 1181. And I have also used it on my Texo 4800 Pro and it's done great. But anyways, enough talking. No, wait, we gotta talk about something else. This pattern, I have seen people complain because the pieces for it, the measurements that are given in the pattern, you have to make adjustments. You have to trim as you go. Um, from my understanding, if you're a quilter, you're probably really used to that, um, just trimming off extra, uh, at your seam allowances, but you can figure it out to where you come up with your own measurements to cut the bag out every time so that you don't have to make those trims. Um, I only ever end up having to trim the bottom of this off because I've come up with my own measurements that I love. I'm not going to give you any measurements. You got to buy the pattern. You got to do the work yourself. It's so worth it. Okay. Now we can stop talking and we can get sewing. All right. So I'll go over the, uh, pieces and everything I have here. Um, I have a cotton woven from Warmy No, and I've interfaced it with um, just some woven interfacing. I like Sofuse Plus. I'm um, going to use this. This bag is a natural 20 tag. This is from Warmy No. I'm going to use a cork label from Heartwood and Hyde. I've got two pieces of zipper tape. Um, I always use a pop tab on the top to put the crossbody strap on. And then I like to use a fancy zipper pull for the pocket if I can. Um, and then we have our sides, our top, um, some zipper tab. I like to cut a long skinny piece. And then our back, we have two lining pieces that are for the main lining and then one for the front zipper pocket. And then also I'm going to grab a pre-made wristlet strap. I'll need one rivet and so sorry I forgot about this uh and then one half inch uh clip. So to start I'm gonna prep a couple things right off the bat. So I'm going to fold this. I like using a 7 8 inch wide just long strip but I'm gonna fold it over one side of my top zipper tape and then I'm going to loop that around like this and fold it over the other end. I'm going to go ahead and stitch that so I like to get the needle down in there and then make sure the tape is in there and I'm back stitching where the zipper tape ends on each piece. And I gotta make sure my 
caught it on the back. Okay, yes, I was a little worried. Okay, now we're going to take our other zipper and put that face down on this main piece. And I like to keep the zipper pull over as much as possible. I'm going to clip that down and then we're going to take the lining piece for the zipper pocket. And you're going to want to make sure it matches this panel piece because... It's longer the other way. Barely, but it is. So you want to make sure that matches. I have definitely put it the wrong way before and then I've just made it work. But take two seconds. Check it. All right, and then we're going to sew that. Make sure your needle is down when you lift your presser foot. Move your zipper pull always. Okay, and then for this, we're just going to send the vinyl launching. <laughs> You're going to clip it so that's even. Okay. This piece you're going to fold. Also, sorry, so it's right side, right sides together, right side down. I'm going to fold this, give it a press. Sometimes I'll clip right here and right here to just make sure it's lined up. And then I'm careful to hold it while I go. And you're going to top stitch that down. If you don't have um, metal tags or cork label tags, say you only have like a woven label, you could have like stitched it in here and then folded it down with that and top stitched or you can put it in the side right here. That's a good spot too. I have done that before. Okay, so I'm going to move these clips up a little and flip this over. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then you're going to make sure that it's nice and straight. And you want it to line up with the top of the zipper nicely. And then I'm going to clip that down in a few spots up here. I'm going to kind of ignore that bubble for now. And then we're going to take our sides. And you're going to line it up with the edge. So like I said, you could put a woven label in here. That would be a good spot. And then you're just going to sew down each of those sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim this extra zipper tape off. So it looks like that. Um, and then I like to transfer my clip behind there to hold the zipper tape. And you're going to fold these down and top stitch them. ready to put the top piece on um and then so this pattern I have come to measurements that I like best for it so that there's minimal trimming off but see this bottom piece I have I still end up with this so I'll be trimming this later 
but um, as the pattern is written, you're probably going to have to trim each piece as you go. You can kind of keep note of what you have to trim off of which piece and go from there for measurements so that you can cut it out later and um, not have to do as much trimming down. Um, it is nice though because if you are using different materials, um, like different widths of zippers and things like that, um, the pattern is written so you just trim as you go. But um, I always use the same stuff. Uh, so anyways, we're putting this down right sides together and then we are stitching that on. And then we're going to fold that up and top stitch it down. And I'm using about a four and a half for my stitch length. Um, this is where I will be putting this label, but I'm going to wait until this top is stitched too so I can center it perfectly. We're going to take our zipper tape with the zipper ends and we are going to center that. You can absolutely make center markings and line them up. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, I just eyeball it. Um, and I'm not going to give measurements for like wh how I cut the zipper because if you come to different measurements for um, sizes, it could be off. I know me and a couple of friends, we all kind of have different measurements for this. They're very similar, but it's like I said, it, it's what we prefer. Um, but I do cut the zipper about an inch or so shorter so that when I put the tabs on it'll stay out of my seam allowance when I uh, finish the bag. So we're put all this right sides together and then we're stitching it and then when I open this I'm going to fold down this side keeping all the seam allowance here but I'm only top stitching the exterior, not the lining. And I am going from one end to the other. I'm going to repeat what I just did with the other side after I fold this down. Sometimes I will clip it out of my way. And then we are going to do right sides together again for the back. You could also um, put your logo on the back piece if you wanted to. Um, I taught a class uh, at So Magical Expo for um, clear and jelly dubbin and um, some people's labels were too big for the spot I put mine in so they put it on the back and it was perfect. Alright, so we made another sandwich. And again, I'm going to close the zipper and just fold that all this way and top stitch the seam allowance and the exterior. Okay, so now that I have all these pieces done, I'm going to fold everything out of the way so that I can get my name tag on here. 
just a little double-sided tape and grab a ruler. So with the ruler, I'm going to find my center and then I'm going to pretty much eyeball um, the centering of it like this way. Okay, so, and it's kind of easy with the size my label is because there's not a lot of space. All right, so I'm going to stitch around that and I am going to be pulling my threads to the back on this to tie them off. I use my uh, metal tags a lot on these, but for this one, I thought this was really cute. The goal is to land in the same uh, hole that you started in. I'm hoping to do that and I do like to pull my threads out before I get there. It is easier. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to have to do the tiniest little stitch to finish that. Yep, okay. Not a problem. Just didn't want a gap. Okay. So I'm just going to knot these and then trim the threads. And then we're ready to finish the bag up pretty much. Alright, so trim them down a little. And there's what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to open my zippers so that they're released in the center. And then I'm going to start lining up right here. You want that to line up. And I'm going to put a clip there. And then line these up. Sometimes these don't perfectly line up, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. Usually but not today. It's fine. I'm going to cut something off just a tiny bit. Okay, so then I kind of just hold this, put a clip there, and then give this a pinch right here and clip. So at this point, you can choose, see those are off just a little, um, you can choose to either just stitch around and have um, just squared corners or you can box the corners. I really like boxing the corners. I think it looks better. Um, sometimes if I'm like in a huge hurry or something uh, to make a bunch, I won't do it. Uh, but I'm going to box mine at three-fourths of an inch. I do have this over attached because I'm trying to use this piece um, and then I'll just uh, work with my seam lines. I could just trim all that right now but uh, I'm, I'm not going to. If you need to do that so that you are better able to keep your seam allowance, please go for it. Okay, I know it's hard to see, but I didn't want to switch pens, so I'm going to cut these out. And then I'm going to stitch from this side, and then I'll just trim that after I'm done sewing easier.
for me. Okay. So we are going to leave an opening here for turning. Um, and I do go in a little on my seam allowance on the lining. If you struggle on this part, you can use um, a hump jumper if you need to. Sometimes I'll just use like a little ruler or acrylic template or something. And I am back stitching in each spot where the um, corners are. So the opening I left this time is a little over four inches. Should be enough. Like I said, I'll trim this right now. And then I'm going to reach in here to help pull that apart because we're going to box the corners now. So you're going to want to pull like this. And make sure you feel that that seam is lined up. That's what's going to give you the best box corners. And you want to, um, I think they call it like, maybe not butterfly or seams, but you want one to go one way and one the other. Uh, that helps you with bulk. And then when you go to the other side, I always make sure, so it's going that way on this side, I'm going to make it go that way. Here. So like I said, I pull those and then I feel that the seam is completely lined up. The lining, I do the same, um, just not as um, particulate with that. Particular? <laughs> I think that's the word. Okay, so I'm going to box these at the same seam allowance I did for the lining, and then um, on the exterior, I'm going to do the same seam allowance that I used on the exterior. So now we need to turn the bag right side out. So you're gonna reach in and I kind of just like pinch this and then work on folding that over like that. And then kind of just rotate it as I go. At least I left a decent opening. Um, sometimes I don't. And that's on me. pushing those corners out as best I can. I like to take my little screwdriver and just kind of push them more because if you don't do this right now, you're not going to be able like once you have it closed. Um, and then I'll also kind of try to like flatten the zipper tops sometimes 
you can go like this too. Anyways. Oh, this is cute. So you're going to take that opening and fold it. I know it's black, so it's probably hard to see. But you're just trying to keep it at the same, like if you would have stitched it, same seam allowance. Um, and then I kind of like tug it a little. Alright, so we're going to put our bag tag in there. And we're going to stitch that closed right on the edge. Take your fingers and push the box corners in. You don't want to pull it down so that your corners collapse though. Okay, close that and now I love this. Uh, now we just gotta make the strap. So I'm gonna grab my hole punch, some rivets, And my press. Okay, so when I do these, I will make a hole like right here on both sides. If you need to make a mark first to see um, where you need it at, you can do that too. And then I'll put the clip on and see where like how far down I need to fold this to put it in a good spot so I'll just take that like that and now I have a mark to punch that hole So I like to put the rivet in this end and then like this will tuck in so it kind of like hides it inside of there. Um, I will say the silver straps of these for some reason are thicker so I, I wouldn't try to sew this part. Um, but I'm going to set my rivet. And then all you have to do is clip it on. Ooh, the silver looks good with this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have made this. I have made so many. Um, I don't even know how many, but um, I really enjoy making it and I hope you do too. Have a great day. Thank you.